friends, how are we doing today? I hope we're doing well. I got Brindley here with me today and we got kind of a special little video. So I told you guys that in my attic I had um, some like baby clothes from my kids and my childhood I think. I have some of those and just, I don't know, little things. And I thought, how fun would that be to go through that little tote? It's just one tote. It's not very big. Um, I don't have as much stuff as I used to because, you know, things get destroyed or lost, you know. Um, and so it's not a huge tote, but I thought it would be fun to go through. Um, so let's do that. I am going to back you up a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so this is the tote. Oh, gosh. This is my tote, um, and it looks ginormous, but really it's not, it's a smaller tote. <laughs> not the smallest, maybe a medium tote, maybe that's what I should say. So, I'm gonna open it up, and um, let's see if we can do this without just exposing my bedroom. <laughs> but there we go, that's the tote that we're gonna be going through. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Um, all right, so excited. Um, I haven't been through this tote in a couple years. I know a couple years ago I did get it down. What's well, been, it's probably been quite a few years. I got it down when my mom was well enough to come to my house and she hasn't been able to do that in a long time. Or she hasn't, hadn't been able to. Um, so it's been a while. So I don't remember all that's in here. And just looking on the top, I already see, <laughs> um, this, um, this is, can you see it? It's got the peanuts on it. So this at one point in time was a full twin blanket. <laughs> and this piece is all I have left. And as you can see, there are many holes and it is basically see-through. This was my blankie as a child. I carried this thing everywhere in twin size form. Um, this, I loved this. I don't know what it was about this blanket, but I absolutely adored this blanket. And, oh wow, that's really neat. Um, I still have that. And, um, yeah, I wish I could, I wish I could display this. Um, let me, hold on just a minute. Let me, the cat's opened my door. And so, oh, my son, you can hear him. <laughs> So, um, yeah, one day when I have my extra room for a nursery, I, these are, this is going to be displayed because that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Now remember this was the earlier, not the early nineties when I had my boys, my mom and my grandma, uh, crocheted quite regularly and, um, we were really hoping for a little girl and I got two little boys, but <laughs> I still put this on my boys once. Each of them wore it once. Um, aside from, I don't think David did, or he may have, you know what? I think I put it in, I put him in it once too. So, um, this is beautiful and I'm actually going to use this on my baby, my baby dolls. Um, but it is this a beautiful crocheted, it's got like these loops, um, some granny squares. It's got this beautiful pattern, you know, the colors. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I mean, I am totally going to use this for my baby dolls. And it comes with, um, oh wow, that's really neat. A little hat, a little bonnet and matching booties. <laughs> oh yeah, we are totally gonna sport that, especially since I have all these little girls now. In fact, this probably would fit Brinley or the new the new baby, um, Ava, a rose. It, it would probably fit her. Oh, this, this is something. This is a coat. Um, does this not scream 90s though? I mean, it's like an acid washed. It says car, um, unzip it. 
Look at the inside. Isn't that adorable? My mom made this. Um, she made a little snow suit. Both of my older boys wore this. Isn't that adorable? It's these are it's got the little suspenders to keep it up. It's lined. Yeah, and this is still in really good shape. Um, both my boys wore this. And um, I'm gonna have to get a bigger boy now. Oh, there's a little rip in the back. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna have to get a big little boy <laughs> so he can wear this because that's adorable. Um, let's see. Oh, I remember these. Now, all three of my kids did wear these. It's the overalls, little red overalls. They're not Oshkosh, they're actually a Liberty brand. Um, yeah, it just says Liberty. And then they're 12 months. So my girls could probably wear these. Oh, wouldn't that be so cute? My uh, Sersha and Addie could probably wear these. I think that might be a little too big for uh, Millie. But, oh yeah, those are adorable. Oh my, oh. oh this I'll just put back as a keepsake because it says daddy's a little boy and on the back it says David <laughs> uh, it's a size two um, that was that was my David's little t-shirt my cat's gonna scratch at the door um, <laughs> my boys made this Thomas and Justin made this you can get out that door she can get out that door i don't know what her deal is my boys made this when they were like two and three three and four years old thomas and justin did out of popsicle sticks and paint and this is real paint this is not like oh minky let her out thanks mink um this is not this wasn't kids paint this is paint that my mom had painted something with and she sat down and helped him make this little cabin or this little I don't know what this is this little thing hey guys I'm trying to record <laughs> cats but um and then let them paint them with the same paint she was painting something a, a cabinet or something with but I'm surprised that has held up so well and then oh my gosh oh my gosh guys okay I gotta remember this was the the, the early 90s okay Hold your horses, get ready for this. It's a crop top <laughs> for little boys. It's got dolphins on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Health Tex. Oh my gosh, is that around anymore? I remember that brand. I don't remember if that's around anymore though, but oh my goodness, it's a 24 months. It's um, got this meshy type of material. Um, I probably will just keep that as a keepsake because uh, crop tops for little bitties, especially little boys, aren't really in right now. <laughs> but I will keep that. That's a gem. That's a treasure. Let's see. Oh, oh yes. This, <laughs> this little gem right here was my oldest son's. He got his first pictures in this little tuxedo outfit. And I don't think I have them anymore. In fact, I know I don't have them anymore. They had a little pair of black pants in the same material as this. Um, and actually we put my, my oldest grandson in this once and got pictures, but I can't find those pictures now, so. But I got the little, little keepsake um, top to it. And then, oh my. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Oh my. The biker shorts. The baby biker shorts. Oh my gosh. Yes, I remember my little boys in this with their little mesh tank top. I'm not even kidding you. Yes, they did. Oh my goodness. How cute is that? That is so cute. So cute. So many memories. I'm surprised I'm not crying, but this is just joyful. Oh, I can use these gowns. 
I was just thinking, man, I would love some gowns for my babies. Bo can definitely use these. Um, the Girl to Girls could too. But look how cute it is. My uh, mom actually made these. Yeah, she was so crafty. Um, so I would definitely be using these from for, for Bo and whoever else I feel like could fit into them. I could put it on the girls and put a little bow in their hair, right? And little baseball one. How cute is that? She made that too. Oh, and they're still really soft. What treasures. And then, oh my goodness, I knew I had a few of my things in here. So this is, oh my, this is a Alicia dress. <laughs> and actually, this is Alicia used to be a dress but my mom would when i outgrew my dresses if i really liked them now i was a total tomboy but i loved some dressy clothes and i loved this but um so what she would do was she would cut off the bottoms and make it a cute top so it would be a shirt and she'd just hem it as you can see that's um that's hand that's a hand hem but i mean how cute is that I think that would be way too big for Sertia because it's like a size five. Um, but man, that is adorable. I might have to get a bigger girl <laughs> to fit into this because that's adorable and it's still in really good shape. Look at the embroidery on it. I'm gonna keep this out too. It is a size five and it's, um, it says Sears on it. That is crazy. That is so crazy. And then, oh, another one of my favorites. Look at this, Jim. Oh, yes. Look at this. It's Pooh and friends. And it's, this is a full dress. This is still a dress. Look how adorable that is. Another size five. And it says Winnie the Pooh. Oh, this is so cute, guys. I'm gonna have to get another little bit of a bigger girl. <laughs> because, oh my goodness, wouldn't she look so cute in that? Oh my, this is old. <laughs> this is really old. Then we have another one of my mama's creations. Um, the little baby boy pants <laughs> yes they are i'll have to get i'm gonna have to get a bigger boy so he can wear some of my retro stuff oh this little mickey oh my goodness um he used to have a light in him and his head lighted up like a glow worm and this was my middle son justin's most prized possession for so long he carried this around for such a long time. And we still have it. Um, I did have some of Thomas's things in here too, but I did th dig those out when he had kids and gave each of them one of his stuffed animals. He had a, a Daffy Duck that he absolutely loved and Tobias got that. And then he had like a really puffy stuffed baby horse um, and Grayson got that, but, and yeah. Mickey had an accident, so we had to bandage him up a long time ago. <laughs> but oh my, that will go back in the memory case because like if I get a nursery, I would totally put this out in the nursery, but um, I don't have anywhere to put him right now and I don't want him to get hurt. So he's gonna go back in storage until I get that. Oh my goodness, guys. I told you I have been a Disney fan for so long and Winnie the Pooh has been my favorite for ever and I mean you saw my Winnie the Pooh dress and my Winnie the Pooh cup. Yes ma'am I had me a little Winnie the Pooh cup and I still have it. It's not drinkable though it's got a crack in it. It's got several cracks in it so you definitely can't drink out of this but I do think I'm going to display this on my shelf over there. And I actually found a little spoon the other day going through some stuff of my husband's that has Winnie the Pooh on it. So I might stick it in here and just put it on my shelf because that's kind of really cute. And then, oh, this, I don't know what this is. Oh, 
So this is a very vintage rattle. Um, this wasn't even mine. This was a family member's who passed away when they were, um, so they had water on the brain and they lived until they were 12 or 13, but they were in an infant state the whole time. This is one of her rattles. I'm actually named after her. Her name was Leisha. She was the first Leisha. And I didn't come for a little while after she passed away. And um, so I am actually the second Leisha in our family. But so this was the first Leisha's little rattle. Oh, that's precious. That's precious. And then these, <laughs> these were my rattles. These were a couple of my rattles when I was a baby. Um, I cannot read the dates on there. That is too, I'm trying to read the, the dates, but it's like really worn and I can't make it out. This one will have any on it, but this one mine. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, I will totally use these. Totally. I remember these too. Look at these little acid washed little shorts. Oh my goodness. Yes. Totally gonna put those on my babies. Look how cute they are. Uh, Justin, these were Justin's. Uh, Thomas may have wore these. I don't think so. I think I just bought those for Justin. Um, so cute, so cute. This I definitely bought when Justin was little. And it's even, it's way past this. I think this might be like an 80s or a 70s even um, sweater. But I found it at Goodwill. And my both my, well, I think, I want to say, I don't know if Thomas did. But I know Justin wore this and I'm totally going to keep that out because that is awesome. That's really neat. Oh, this was, this was one of Justin's most prized possessions too. As you can see, it's pretty raggedy, <laughs> but he loved that. That was his moose, his moose that was on the loose. Oh, look at this. Justin. And Thomas, oh, they had little matching shirts that I got made. I don't even remember where. Probably the mall. Definitely the mall. Oh, yeah. They're not, they're holy and they're very dingy, but I'm keeping them for keepsake items. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And then this, I remember this. This is really old, too. I wonder what year this is. See if I can find a date. I don't know but this is another gown and the way this look how long this thing is but the way you use this is you pull it up I can hear the call. let the me see nope there's my son he's uh so how did this go I can't even remember now oh yes I did okay so you pulled the bottom up to around however big you needed it so you could put it at any level and then you snapped it in the back like this so then it could just get longer you know you just snapped it wherever you needed it so it could get longer and longer I think I am going to try to wash that up and use that too because that's pretty neat that is pretty neat let me let me shut this door again the cats keep opening it Okay, let's see if we can get through the rest of this. <laughs> it's not much more in here, guys. Not much more in here. <laughs> That's a picture of my boys when they were littles. That's my blondie Thomas and my little guy Justin. They were little guys. That's, that is so cute. I remember those outfits. Those were cute outfits. Then we have, oh yeah. So I have these baby shoes, which I'm pretty sure were mine. <laughs> I found more baby shoes. I'm definitely going to keep those out. Those are still in really good shape. These baby shoes that were mine. 
have to see if I can find some little laces for those. These baby shoes that were like little uh, Reeboks. You guys remember the Reeboks? So the little Reebok type little shoes. Those were Thomas's first pair of shoes. And Justin's first pair of little shoes. Look how cute those are. Oh my goodness. And I used to have David's first pair in here too, but we may have lost those. Unfortunately, you know, things get lost. Now, some of this stuff is not, this is, that's, I don't know why that's in there. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. You're not going to believe what I just found. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I found Barney's arm. The arm that fell off that I was going to sew back on and my mama threw the doll away before I could get it sewn back on but I have his arm I'm not going to get rid of it I'm going to keep this baby arm I didn't know I still had this I mean oh my goodness and it looks so much like Barney up there Barney number two's arm. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I still have Barney's arm. Isn't that crazy? I'm keeping it. It's going to stay with me. I'm never going to get rid of that. This was another one of, oh, that was something. This was another one of, um, I want to say this was Thomas's. This may have been Justin's. This was either Thomas or Justin's. They both had one. One had a gray one. One had a white one. The white ones in here, they loved these things. I don't see the gray one, and I can't off the top of my head, you know, remember who had what color. It was a long time ago. Yeah, and I don't think we have the um, the other one. I don't think we have David's shoes either. So I'm almost to the bottom. I haven't found them. His was a little pair of sandals because he was born in August. But I do have this a very retro vintage Mickey Mouse comforter. Um, this was Thomas and Justin's. They both had this um, whole set, this whole set they had, but Justin loved this blanket. So he carried around for quite, quite some time um, until he found a bigger blanket that he liked. It's got a stain on it. <laughs> um, I'm going to put that away, but when I get that nursery, that's going to go out in it. That's for sure. And then, oh, oh, oh. And this is really stained too. So I'm just going to, it says a brand new boy. It has a little dinosaur on it. And he wore this and those little, these little shorts uh, for pictures one time. And I had him out <clears throat> and everybody told me what a beautiful baby girl I had. And it even said brand new boy. <laughs> I know it's hard to tell though with infants sometimes. <clears throat> oh my. A little pair of their footy socks. They're very stretched out and worn, so those are just gonna go back for memory's sake. Oh, look at those little sockies. And then, what was that? Well, I found an ultrasound picture. Oh my goodness. It's Thomas's what? ultrasound picture. The cat's opened the door again. <laughs> yeah, can you can you make out a baby in there? Boy, um, we have sure come a long way on ultrasound pictures, haven't we? Yeah, that just looks like a blob. But you know, that's oh another picture of my boys when they were little. A little tiny picture of them. I just love those studio pictures, you know? Those are just something else. Oh, oh, the bottom fell off. Okay, so these were Justin's, and these are not gonna be able to use it anymore because they are like falling apart. But these were Justin's first pair. This is the pair of shoes that he learned to walk in. Isn't that crazy? They are, oh yeah, they're sticky and everything. But, so these are, just gonna go back in the box. They're a size four. I mean, they're really cute though. Super cute. 
cute little walking shoes. <laughs> and then this was another one of Leisha's toys. Um, and I'm, I think I'm gonna put that up on the shelf too. It's a really old vintage little rubber toy. My cat's trying to get back out. Trying to film when they're up is really hard. Let's see. Hey. I've got some paperwork in here, but I'm not going to show you guys that because that is nothing, um, nothing to do with nothing. I used to work at Chick-fil-A a long time ago, and my boys, um, they loved my boys there, so they each got name tags with their name on it. They made them for them. This is Justin's. Justin's never worked at Chick-fil-A, but he had a name tag, and Thomas used to have one too. I don't know what happened to Thomas's. Oh my goodness. My uh, grandma made these. Look how cute these are. That's Thomas and Justin. These are so cute. I'm gonna have to leave those out and put those with the Christmas stuff. And, um, just put them around for Christmas sake. And So that's it. That's all the baby stuff that was in there. But my goodness, did I find some gems, didn't I? Oh my goodness. I can't even with what I found. Um, you know, of course, some of this just going to have to be put back up until I can use it. But uh, I'm so excited to find all these things. Um, you know, the sad thing is though, I used to have a bunch of, um, these containers full of stuff and just as the years go by, you just lose stuff. <laughs> but this video is quite long. I did not realize how long this video is. So I'm going to cut this off here. There's nowhere to see anyway. Um, poor little Bryn's over here. She's, she's fine. She just, she's snoozing. Um, thank you guys for coming along down memory lane. I made it through the whole thing without crying. It actually brought me so much joy. Excuse me. So much joy. I can't believe I found Barney's arm. Um, this is probably one of the, my most favorite things that I found. Um, I'm probably just going to put it back in the box because, you know, <laughs> having a doll arm <laughs> laying around is probably not a great thing. But I'll have it if I ever find a Barney without an arm, <laughs> as long as it's the, uh, the, the left arm. <laughs> um, that's so funny. That is hilarious. I, I, I thought I was going to cry, but I didn't. Um, I think having my Barney um, has helped a lot, helped that, helped heal that a lot. So, um, oh. Got something in my brain. All right, guys, I'm going to say bye. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling at this point. So thank you guys so much for going down memory lane with me. What was your favorite item? Did you have some of this with your children? If your children are as old as my children, um, or, you know, some of the stuff is older than my children. So, um, some of the stuff is my stuff and that's pretty cool. And so, um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite thing was. Don't forget to subscribe and push your bell notification. It's free to subscribe. Um, some people don't know that. And you know, cause YouTube has a uh, package that you can pay for. Um, and so some people have told me that they don't subscribe because they don't have the money to. It's free to subscribe. You can just subscribe to as many creators as you would like, as many channels as you would like, and it's totally free. You don't have to pay to subscribe to all your favorite channels. So go ahead and push that subscribe button, guys, for all of us. <laughs> we really appreciate it when you do. Um, anyway, thank you guys. Remember to be nice, be kind, be gentle, be you. <laughs>